the NEC Formula Renault. Uh, it's a, a championship for upcoming racing talents uh, with the AIM Formula One. Uh, after karting, uh, this should be the first step. Uh, then uh, after this should come Formula 3 or maybe World Series 3.5. But this is quite the beginning, but nevertheless it's very competitive. Normally this car is step two in, in a national series of uh, open wheel racing. But in the meantime we are, yeah, we are the youngster series and this is uh, a little bit difficult sometimes for we have more than 200 horsepower, we have a real Formula 3 like racing car and it's not so easy for, for a young guy or a young girl coming from karting. Formula Renault is quite a good platform for deciding, for finding out who's good and who's not. So um, everyone uh, eventually will come through Formula Renault, and uh, I think the NEC is is sort of a stepping stone into the Euro Cup as well. So uh, everyone wants to come to um, something like this, so to to do this championship. The car is a, a Renault with a, a two-liter engine, um, Formula car, and especially uh, yeah, it's. It's designed to conform the latest uh, safety standards uh, and especially for young talents, yeah, it's the, the category to start from karting in autosport. Yeah, well, it's a Formula Renault 2 litre car. It's, uh, everybody has the same car, there's just different teams. Uh, so the big difference is uh, mainly the setup from the teams and also the driver that makes the difference. So I would say uh, the biggest uh, difference is the package from driver and team that work together that, that can make the difference. All the cars are made by Renault, so they're supposed to be 100% the same, which you know, so far I've driven you know, most of the cars in, in this team and they're all, all you know, within the same, same tenth of each other. So I can only assume the rest of the cars on the grid are the same. So it, it does show the driver talent of, of how close people can be. What we try to do here is to make sure uh, that we are revealing young promising drivers by making sure that all the drivers have the same equipment uh, and they can uh, drive under the best uh, rules and conditions. It's the first day in that track and also, uh, this weekend we have only one free practice and then on the quali. We have one training and then two hours later the qualifying, so it's really busy and really hard, but let's see if it gets better. Yeah, everything went very well. I did already all the pole positions in, in the championship. I won two races. Uh, I'm starting on pole again here today at Nürburgring and I hope I can uh, win both races again here. I think today's qualifying session shows how you know, tight it is. The okay, K-Pole is, is a little bit further ahead than other people. Obviously got a perfect lap together but everyone else, you know, from sort of second to sixth, there's only about a tenth. So everyone's really close and I think the teams are all very competitive with each other. It's still a bit sliding everywhere. Uh, but also a lot of grip, good peak in the, in the new tyres and also the races uh, and the qualifying sessions, it's, it's so close. You have to be sharp every time to, to perform well. Well, we've not had the best of qualifying so far. We've ended up uh, like, uh, quite far back, so we'll have to see how we go on and pick up the best points possible. We had a few car problems, but uh, it was my first time around the track uh, this morning, so it was mainly in me. But, uh, we know where to improve, so uh, I certainly look forward to the race. They are very wild, they are coming from karting, and uh, yeah, we try to give the direction. My aim is that I get under the top 20, top 15, because it's really hard and this championship is really, really good. Like everyone's driving now in the Renault, in the NEC, because we are faulty drivers. 
and last year I got 10 drivers and now I'm around 25 because I had some luck in Hockenheim and some bad luck. Let's see what, what I get this weekend and I'm now on that round 30. Let's hope I get to the 20. Um, around the Nürburgring it shouldn't be too difficult to overtake. Um, there's, lots of there's a lot of places, lots of quite slow corners. I mean, they're great little cars to race as well, so there's no reason why you can't get close to the people in front and overtake them. good reaction on the lights but uh, I uh, released my clutch a little bit too quickly and uh, had a lot of wheel spin and then uh, put, the f put the second gear too early and sort of uh, yeah let the revs drop too down or too low and uh, yeah I lost a lot of positions. In the first round I hit uh, somebody somebody was on the right side and came uh, to the left side and hit me and I hit him yeah yeah, after this accident, I can uh, continue, but uh, it's no point to drive because you don't have rear wing, and uh, in the front the wishbone was bent, also, so the steering wheel was like this, so you don't need to drive. So I came in. Started on pole, so we got a good start. Managed to get a bit of a gap by the time I got into second. Uh, but from there, I was I was more just trying to keep Pierre behind me because of the problem I had, um, which meant Stoffel just slightly edged away each lap and ended up being quite a bit in front. I had a quite good start, uh, not the best in the world because the clutch slipped a little bit, but uh, I managed to, to, to stay in the lead and then uh, actually I almost didn't look my mirrors, just the first lap to see where the others were and I saw I already get a, got a gap after the first two corners, so there was nothing really big to worry about. Just, it was really hard, I need to drive like the fighting line all the time and I had, I had no free, free, free race in reality but in one corner I, I was too fast and I slipped on the exit and I had a lot of oversteering and I came back on 31 I think and I got to 27th again in, in 5 minutes, something like this. Most fun comes in overtaking, obviously you don't want to be doing too much overtaking because you want to be starting at the front. Uh, but you know, overtaking is definitely the, definitely probably the highlight of, of a race is when you overtake a lot. I didn't really realise it was the last lap but uh, I was behind and they defend and went back and I went into the hole. I was quite happy with the race but unfortunately yeah, I did a bad start. Of course I prefer to be on the podium but I'm still, uh, still positive about the race. It was good for my second race in the neck. I uh, finished third uh, in Euro Cup uh, two weeks ago, and another podium here. I was. Uh, I, I'm very happy. I'm quite happy with of that result. Uh, we were nursing a problem throughout throughout the day, really. Um, so second was probably the best I could have got from that race because as I was holding off Pierre, so. Yeah, we we'll look forward to tomorrow, starting from 12th. Hopefully we can get rid of the gremlins and our speed's fine to be able to come through the traffic, so we'll see. Well, the secret is like not over pushing the car because if you start to over push, you start to use the tires too much and uh, you get a big degradation of the tires. So you go slower and slower every lap. So if you drive just under, under that point, you, you can do 
exactly the same time every lap, which I almost did. And then uh, just control everything so, so we don't make mistakes and lose time.